first step is to download your pattern. Select your file according to your paper format and the size you wish to make. Print your pattern at 100% scale. Your instruction guide included with your pattern has a full set of instructions on how to put the pattern together. Trim the borders and match along the edges and use clear sticky tape to piece together. Then cut around each individual pattern piece. Use the cutting layout provided in the instructions to pin your pattern pieces onto the fabric. Cut according to the individual directions on each piece. Place a pair of the front bodice pieces on top of one another with the right sides together. Pin in place and stitch around the outer edges, leaving the bottom curved edge open. Stitch together using a 6mm or quarter inch seam allowance. Repeat these steps for the other pair of the front bodice pieces. So you'll have two, one for each side of the front. Take each front bodice piece and turn through the opening to the right side. Use the tip of your scissors to very carefully push the point through. Repeat for the other front bodice piece and use an iron to press well around the edges. Use a long gathering stitch at the bottom curved edge. Don't back tack on either end. Pick up one thread from each side and pull it to gather down the front bodice. We are gathering it so it is small enough to fit between the notches on the front waistband piece. The next step is to pin the tie pieces to the front waistband along the short side seam. You'll have cut out enough pieces to do this step twice and end up with two sets. Stitch along the side seam using a 1cm or 3 8 of an inch seam allowance. Use your iron to press the seam allowance open. Locate the centre front notch on the waistband piece. You'll then pin the front bodice pieces in between the notches on either side of the front waistband. Take note of the markings on the front bodice pattern piece so that the centre front bodice greets the centre front waistband. You don't want to accidentally flip them the other way around. Pin the front bodice pieces in place and stitch along the edge to secure. Place the second set of waistbands on top of the first set with the right sides touching and the front bodice pieces sandwiched in between. Pin the edges and leave an opening along the lower edge so that we can turn the garment through to the right side later. Stitch along the outer edge using a 6mm or quarter inch seam allowance. Don't forget your 5cm or 2 inch opening at the bottom.
Clip the ends of the tie to help reduce the bulk of the seam allowance. Turn the garment through to the right side. Again, be very particular to ensure you have a nice sharp edge at the points. I've used my scissors again to help push the tip all the way through. Use an iron to press all around the edges. Take a hand sewing needle and matching thread to neatly stitch the lower opening closed. Take care to only pick up a few stitches on the right side so that the stitching is invisible from the front. You, you know I'll always keep on coming back to you, back to you.